China has unveiled the CFR-1000, a fast neutron nuclear reactor designed to generate 1.2 gigawatts of power, enough for 1 million homes. It uses high-energy fast neutrons, not the slowed-down kind found in most reactors. This allows it to convert uranium-238 into plutonium-239 during operation, enabling an internal fuel cycle with direct military relevance. The reactor is cooled with liquid sodium instead of water. Sodium transfers heat efficiently, but is chemically unstable. If it comes into contact with air, it can ignite. If it contacts water, it can explode. A leak inside the containment system could trigger fires, structural collapse, or a release of radioactive material. Previous fast reactors using sodium, including Japan's Manju and France's Super Phoenix, suffered multiple shutdowns, fires, and public backlash. The Manju plant leaked sodium into the building and caught fire, then never recovered. Super Phoenix was permanently closed after years of poor performance. Despite this record, China is scaling up to full commercial output. The CFR-1000 is expected to begin operation by 2034. If a sodium fire erupts inside the core, it would be nearly impossible to extinguish. If structural damage follows, radioactive contamination could escape and spread. Fallout risks from a worst-case scenario would reach across borders and persist for generations. No other country is currently attempting this technology at this scale. Global regulators are watching, but construction is moving forward. The CFR-1000 is not just a power reactor. It is a high-risk, high-output system capable of shifting nuclear policy, energy control, and military balance. And if it fails, the consequences won't stop at China's borders.